Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Legacy of the Vikings. And we're no longer the Legacy of the Vikings, we are actually the Vikings. Or as we like to call ourselves, the Scandinavians. <laughs> so guys, um, yeah, last episode we actually formed Scandinavia. And, you know, this episode I was thinking about going to war with some people. Because, yeah, that's what we do in this game. <laughs> so anyway, so, um... Apparently I missed this last game, but there's apparently some new, like, map modes added, like, there's a opinions map mode, uh, economic, manpower, technology, trade value, supply limit, uh, missionary strength, players, accepted cultures, opinions, there we go. So we now have an opinions map mode where we see what do other countries think of us. Generally speaking, most other countries are indifferent to us, or hate us slightly. Moscow really hates us, Lithuania really hates us, and France is actually almost green to us, and yeah, I didn't notice this map mode before, I wish I would have known this, because this is actually a pretty useful map mode. Um, and then coalitions map mode, which is basically what countries are in a coalition against us. So if they're in red, that means they might be in a coalition against us. Oh, let me see, who's in a coalition against us right now? Uh, no one, which is good. And we set Pomerania as our main ally, our main enemy, because we were trying to get Hodenstein into our mix, which didn't quite work because then we converted to uh, Protestantism. Which, I'm gonna go check. How long will it take for all this to convert? 27 months. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We might have some serious problems. I mean, I could deal with all these ones, but... Oh gosh, this one is terrible. This one province will just not concede to my will. It will be like the one province. I feel like I just have to destroy and then manually rebuild it from the ground under. Because it's being such a stubborn province. Oh gosh, okay. Anyways, um, we are going to finish up the siege. First, we're going to regain order in our land. We're going to, like, Norway has entered a military coalition against us. They will find whatever. Okay, so they officially don't like us, which is fine with us, because we have cores on all your land. That's not a very smart idea. I'm just going to say that now. We have cores on all your land. We could basically take this entire upper region and basically free ourselves from your presence. An island? They're not going to do anything, are you kidding me? They're all defenseless over there. They're not going to... I guarantee Island's not even going to lift a finger to go help. Alright, anyways though, um, we should also continue colonizing, so I'm thinking about where my next region should be. Um, I haven't really... Hmm... I do want to kind of keep my colonies sent, uh, you know, together, but I do want to branch out into more better colonies instead of just sticking to this little area. Because this colony right here would be a massively good colony. So, let's see. When are we going to be done with this? 1538. So, in 1538, guys, remind me that we are doing that. We're going to be calling. So, yeah. Okay, so let's finish up the rest of this conquest. Oh, I'm also going to start looking at some of our trade power. Because I'm actually going to start looking at a lot of stuff. Now that I'm, now that I'm back, I'm going to start looking at a lot of this. So, how much do we own in this node? We own actually a good amount. The Hessians are beating us by a lot, though. We're not denied. And over here is the one I'm really getting mad about because for some reason, like, Roni and Oda has a lot of our trade power, which is making me kind of angry. Luckily, the game conquered, though, by, uh, are these reforms? Protestant zealots. <gasps> oh, okay. Can, can I, can I help fund these guys? Just, just, I just want to know. I, I should be able to help fund you guys. Support rebels. Um, uh, Protestant zealots. Uh, yeah, give them as much help as they need. Seriously. If they need an entire army to go help destroy everything, go send them an entire army to go help destroy everything. And we just got maximum relationship with the country. Oh no, we just got our core. Oh gosh, I'd love to declare war on these guys too, but they have some okay -ish allies actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So... We'll go deal with them once we go deal with our good old-fashioned friends, the, uh, Norwegians. Okay, rebellion again. Go to- Oh no! 
Now that is not a good sign. So let's just put this. I mean, I can deal with people that, uh... Oh gosh, we might actually lose our only colony that we've ever actually been able to core at this point. That is kind of angry. Although, then again, it doesn't really provide us that much, so would, would it really be that much of a loss? I mean, gosh, I mean, I wouldn't mind for them to become, like, their own independent nation, because... I'd much rather have my people, this sounds bad, but I'd much rather have my people grouped up into one centralized formation than anything else. Anyways, let's see about our money. Our money situation is not going great because we're having to fully fund our, our military all the time because our place is in a complete and utter revolt. And I was going to see how much we gain from trade. We actually gain almost 25% of our power from trade, which is not a good sign. That means we have to really be focusing in on trade, which... I've been kind of lackadaisical about this entire time, but I think I really do have to, you know, oh my goodness! Okay, Carl Ribbing, you guys go up there. Go kill these Protestant idiots. Keep thinking that they can, uh... You know, it only happens when you have, like I said, this, only, this kind of thing only happens when you have, uh, Poland! Declared war upon a new enemy, Hungary. Yay! And my men lost. You idiots. Okay, we got this man. Let's go send out more armies. Oh gosh, this is turning really bad for us. Really, really quickly. Like, omens, bad infrastructure. I mean, we... Right now, we're just trying to survive. I mean, I don't want to go to war until we're at least a somewhat stabilized nation, which we sadly aren't. I mean, I hate to admit it, but we are sadly not a stabilized nation, and St. James just revolted. And Biscuit is just revolted. Oh my gosh, this is like... This is like Night of the Revolting... of the Revolting Vassals. Which I'm having to keep honestly dealing with. Luckily, if we keep our men for, like, funded for as long as possible, we still can deal with it for a very long time. Which is the nice part. Okay, we just destroyed a couple different ships. All my ships over here are doing fine. Um... This one, this one person's gonna go do some stuff. I'm gonna go send him over here, cause I don't know why. They're gonna just go destroy that one pirate ship. Cause why not? Um, that colony's probably gonna get lost because I really don't care about it. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a terrible defeat by one pirate ship. Oui. Yeah, we are definitely in one of those spots where you're like, yep, I'm in one of those spots. Reinforce B, National Modifier, Land Reinforcement. Really, I don't like any of these guys. But this guy is slightly less money, so I'll get him. Oh gosh, now that just cost me a lot. Yeah. How much is use the Ministry of Power? No, we have to use our Ministry of Power to boost back our stability. Because we need to be at least one stability, at least. I mean, this is at the bare moments minimum. We have to be at stability one to be of anything so let's get that done with before we do anything and deal with all these rebellions that will keep popping up and apparently the rebels that was funding somehow died so Protestant zealots they are with each month risk of discovery per yeah it seems like they're going to not be able to do anything and how long does my claim last for over here so stop supporting the rebels yeah how long does my claim last in this province so uh, let's see. So, province. Yeah, how long does my claim last? Until 8, 1558. Yeah, so I have a long time before I have to go actually use it. Oh, gosh. Man, I'm having so bad luck right now. Ever since I... Gosh, you know, you would think that transferring, transferring to a new and honest nation would be a great thing for your colonies. Nope. We instantly get destroyed and... Right now, we're just... With my, I'm not getting an alliance with you. I don't know why I would ever get an alliance with you. You guys kind of stink. But, yeah. Yeah, the Catholic Zealots are, gonna, are going to be a pain. Uh, for this, I'm also going to stomp out any revolt list. Just so that it'll make my life a lot easier. Okay. Because we need to get our problems back on our side. And... Was not funding them, was I? Nope. So now they're running back to New Stockholm. Nationalists rising. Of course they're rising. We have like a 
lot of different things happening right now. We're in one stability. I mean, zero stability. Of course, they're going to be trying to kill me. Okay. Superior. Superior force. Buildings. I'm not really focusing on buildings right now because I'm kind of. I'm trying to do a little bit more technology before I do any more buildings. And yes! Okay. So now we just need one more boost to our stability and then I feel completely fine to go to war again. And then the natives are really starting to mess me over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I've been planning to do for a while, which is I'm gonna go send my army in and they better not get mad at me for it because they have been doing this this entire time. I warned them I would come if you guys did not stop. Nope, they did not stop, so they're gonna go get the, the shoe in. Seriously. Okay. These guys, and these guys have nine cards. Yeah, so they finally see through Eric's foot. Wonder how that went. Oh damn, this is a little bit too big. So let's see. We just need two men out. So keep those guys close. All right, you guys get the ships. Okay, now men, transfer them all the way to the sacred city. Uh, we might, we might as well. So we're gonna be over here. We might as well go take back Eric's foot. Cause it's right there, literally, it's right there. Um, and we could always, we could always get some more uh, fish from the Eskimos. Would they be happy to see us, wouldn't they? Well, I would hope so. I mean, I'd be happy to see me. <laughs> I mean, considering I haven't done anything really bad, and I mean, and I seriously do mean that, I haven't done anything extremely bad to natives until this very point. I think I'm a pretty good leader. Like. <laughs> I think I'm a pretty good leader. Oh gosh, these guys are just gonna keep revolting, aren't they? Okay, let's just see how we vote risk. So I just know for a good fact for how much we vote risk. Okay, so we have basically a lot of different things happening around here. Um, the most high-tech provinces are these ones, which... Uh, I could deal with those, so... Um, I have my men right here. Don't kill them. Make sure we're funding. We're funding you. And we have enough money to... Naval stars are suffering. Oh my goodness! Kill the guys. Okay, there we go. We defeated them. Now go down here, go destroy this one stupid ship. And I'll slightly fund my military for just a little bit. Or my ships it should be just having this many ships should be enough to just destroy them but and boom okay there we go and now you guys can just wait here oh wow my guys seriously seize down everything over here my I have my guy go on stomp rebels and suppression and stuff like that the spread of Protestantism yes good keep spreading Protestantism we seriously need it out of our land <laughs> Like, no joke, we need it out of our land now before we get completely ripped apart by religious disorder. I mean, I need to get my capital underneath my control again. Which is a sad thing to say when your capital is not underneath your control. And so, I'm just going to keep my forces funded for a little bit, and the fortress is about to fall. It shouldn't take that much longer. Uh, and my... There we go. Company, yay! Two colonists will arrive in. Okay. So that means how many colonists do we have? Colonies in Uzbek. Okay, I did not do that. <laughs> I don't know where those colonies came from. That was not me. I, they just they just decided to grow on their own. Like, okay, it seems like the natives also calmed down over here, so. Maybe I might not need to go send a gigantic force to go kill them. But what I will go do is go destroy any natives that are over here because I am pretty mad about that. <laughs> I am pretty mad. Like, I have given them almost all the time they needed and given them all the chances they needed to try to, re to, try to uh, be nice to them and they just do not want to be nice. So you know what? M you guys messed it up, so I'm going to go kick your butt. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So let's see, how many leaders can we have? Uh, cause I would love to hire a Conquistador. Yeah, let's hire a Conquistador. Um, and what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna go have him- Yeah, that's what I'll do with my army. I'll go have them, uh, 
feel like I should just do this to every single province that's revolting. Uh, yeah, that might work. Okay, let's see, my missionaries. Let's see, how close is my missionary? Diplomat, cause, missionary. Missionary is almost done, so that's really good progress. Like, we are making... After a little bit, you start to realize you're making a lot of good progress, even though it's taking so very long. Okay, anyways, my, my people over here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, go uh, attack natives for seven military power. Yep, I'm sorry guys. But I tried being peaceful with you guys many, many times. It was all on you that I had to do that. Okay, and Carl Ribbing, I don't want in charge. I want Carl Gustav Toll, this guy who I don't even know, to be in charge. And over here... I'm going to have my air call Ribbing, who's turning out to be one of the best commanders we've ever had in this military, do that. And how's our military tradition? It's pretty low, and so is our naval. That's not very good, but that's only because I haven't gone to war in a very, very long time. Alright, so I'm going to have you go do some exploration. And you're almost done coin, that's good too. Uh, I'm not going to do... Hmm, I'm not going to do any more coin for a little bit. And the reason why is because um, I want to make sure we're at least plus one stability. That's really my goal. Okay. Over here, though, we're going to start exploring some of these places. Conversion successful. Yes. Okay. So we finally converted the. Uh, finally converted our capital, which it took a while. So uh, you can now convert the province to religion. Yay. So that was. You know, strangely, it was long. Let me just say that. It was very, very long and tedious, but we finally got it done. So next, I'm going to try to move in a systematic manner. There we go. Yeah. And we're just going to keep, like, pouring everything in main Scandinavia before we start moving on anywhere else. Over here, these guys are... Exploring stuff. I'm also going to now that we got a decent amount of people doing stuff I don't have to be so on the guard with the uh, military And we just discovered the uh, Huron. It seems like the Huron were the ones that actually uh, You know United all these tribes up here. That's what usually happens and apparently they attacked me You guys all saw that I am not being I am not trying to raid, I'm not trying to be a jerk. They're the ones who are attacking me. Okay. Okay, now we got new technology. Clipper shipyard, shipper canal, and how are we now doing on technology? Like, we officially caught up, so I can do some stuff again. Let's see, France is 11-11 with 10-11-11. No, we're still gonna have to wait just a little bit before I can start building stuff again. Yeah. Oh gosh, people, we are so much to do now. Oh gosh, and this guy, I'm still missing an advisor, but I don't really have the money right now. Boost! Finally! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, okay, that's gonna help us just a little bit. Yeah, there's a revolt in Reykjavik. Why, well, I actually have soldiers for this. I made sure Reykjavik is guarded, because it's like the... It's like the colony to the new world. I need that garden so that the world, so that my new world colonies will be safe. Okay, and over here, so, huh? This is kind of weird, but I think we're actually semi-blocked. Can I actually get past them? Yes, I can. Okay, I was about to say I think we're semi-blocked by the. Uh, oh my goodness! I think I just annihilated a couple different colonies here. It wasn't my fault though. Important center of trade, so just important just a note. Manhattan, very important colony. I can send stuff now? Yeah, let's send it to let's send him there. Simon Erickson. Yeah, let's send it there. If we can send stuff there now, let's do it. I think it might be because Mimic just became no, it wasn't because of that, then why can I send stuff there now? That's kinda weird. Okay. Uh and now I can start pouring this. And gosh, now I can start preparing for an army. Killing more natives. Okay, I really gotta see the native population before this. It's at 1,000. This was at 1,500. I don't think I'm killing them. I think I'm just damaging. Just unpeacefully going down their land until I see stuff that I like. Okay, so we're almost exploring the entire coastline. 
Excellent minister. We reap the benefits or are you kidding me? Get get the stability. I've had low stability for a really long time. I need stability. Alright. So we basically charted out the 13 colonies. Um that's nice. <laughs> And then there's the Aztec land down there, which I really want to take at some point. But I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. And I'm just going to go start sending my colonists back all the way up there. Fighting through as many, as many of these. Gosh, I mean, I have three cannons with me and they're all attacking me. This isn't necessarily the smartest thing I've ever done. Oh gosh, and I was not, I swear to you guys, I was not trying to kill any of them. They forced it upon me to do any of the damages I just did. I am trying to be literally the most peaceful person you've ever known in a game. Well, let's get this guy on here. Recruit foxes of standards. Uh, no, we don't need... We really don't need to. I don't think we really need that big man battle boost. I'm gonna go send... I guess I'm gonna go send my conquistador to go back to... Uh, actual America. Because we're gonna need him for the war against... We're gonna need him against the war for Norway. Which I thought would take care of this episode, but apparently we're gonna... It's probably gonna take until next episode. Because right now this is... Oh my goodness. We finally... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna be as peaceful as possible, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time da 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 da